I didn't clap. That's all good. The one's usually enough. I just like to have two just in case. That's fair. Yep. Welcome back. Welcome. Damn, I'm the asshole. Yep. Welcome back. Lousy listeners. Hey. Lousy listeners. So the poll is concluded. Yes. And if you do I, not see our announcement video, go, watch, go back and watch that. Mm-hmm. And yeah, our membership club is now the Lousy Listeners Club. Yes. And, which is very cool. If you want to join, it's $2.99. That's for membership. Yeah. Super cheap. The button is like up. Well, depending on what you're watching us on, it could be yeah, like over I was, there. I was say, if it's on a computer, there. it's going to be like man, down, down there. Down there. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, somewhere. Yeah, click the join button. Yeah, just join it's, it's on there. Control F it. I'm sure you can find it. So, <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cell phone users are going like, "What the <laughs> fuck is Control F?" Yeah. Uh, anyways, it's a uh, Command F on Max, by the way. So that true. Yep. True. Mm-hmm. Yep. True I chains. Never, never learned all the commands on. Uh, I still don't know all on the Mac. On Mac. Yeah. Yeah. MacBooks. Can we just talk about MacBooks for a second? They're terrible. Oh, as far as user interface, I, the rest of it's good, but I will say this, yeah. what they offer for user friendly nature, like video editing software and things. Great. Good. OS. Terrible. Horrible. The worst. <laughs> like, yeah. But I will also say windows. I mean, windows does have its fair share of issues as well. Yeah. I'm not going to sit here and, you know, dick ride Mac or anything or Apple because I don't know. Like, yeah, we're not really on, like, we use iPhones. I'm not one or the other. I have a MacBook. Yeah. That one's a hand-me-down for my wife, though. I have never bought a MacBook. I have a MacBook from work. Yeah. That's about it. Mm-hmm. Um, but then, yeah, PC all the way for yeah. computers overall. I may one day get, like, one of those little, like, Mac homes. You know what I'm talking about? Like, the little, yeah. little mm-hmm. one. Yeah, I might They're get that. They're really good, especially for the price. Yeah, like, yeah I it's... may do that one day, yeah. but, like. And then just load Windows on it. <laughs> Yeah. Basically, yeah, you know, it's it's a Windows emulator. Yeah, is what yeah. we're doing. Mm-hmm. That's um, what some people actually do. Yeah, <laughs> this is true. Anyway, um, but no, uh, you know, welcome back to everybody. Welcome back, lousy listeners. Join the membership club. Yep. Um, we appreciate everybody who participated in the poll, and uh, you know, we're we're going to jump right in today because uh, this it's kind of like we started a little segment here, yep. mm-hmm. or like uh, almost like an episodic feature. It's probably going to run like four different episodes. But if you noticed, uh, we did an episode. For Emma the asshole, and that was the top of the top, the the yeah. all time, right? And we chose four from the all time top. Like it wasn't exactly like one, two, three, four, but like yeah. we chose four from like the top fifteen, I guess you could say. Yeah. And excuse me. What we decided to do, we talked about this, and we decided that for three different episodes, we're going to present to you all a different format to how we do this, but it's still mm. the same format of how we how we read and everything. Yeah. We are going to do the top of the top assholes. Not the assholes. Everyone sucks. Yep. So today, what we're going to do, we went in and found the top. We literally, I think we only skipped number two. Yeah, we skipped one. Because that yeah, one was yeah. like. A little, little triggering. So, yeah. yeah. So one, three, four, and five on the top all-time asshole list. If you go in and filter for asshole, top all-time, we chose one, three, four, and five. We're not even going to worry about, you know, covering it. Like, you know, yeah. it's going to be the asshole story. My job has gotten a lot easier. <laughs> yes. Well, it's not that hard. But Our still, job. Yeah. Mm-hmm is to go in and read this and decide if they were rightfully considered an asshole. QAing, am I the asshole? Correct. And That's then the next one will be not the asshole, yeah. and then everyone sucks. Mm-hmm. So yep. we're going to do that top of the top, all time. Hope you enjoy this. Uh, Sam, before we get into the, the madness of all this, mm-hmm. I think I'm up. Uh, as far as all-time score? Yeah. Uh, I think I'm up by one. I, I think so. I haven't been counting. I wonder she emailed it to us, right? Well, it's on our episodes. I've been keeping track of it on the episodes. Ever since then. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. Oh, Have okay. you not noticed? No. <laughs> I edit, upload it, and then don't touch it. <laughs> and then I, I just go in and look at the comments. Yeah. <laughs> go I, look. You, you put in some great work, I'm sure. Just but, go, just go yeah. look. Just, just, just go to our videos. Uh, let's see. Imagine, uh, imagine your co-host being an asshole. Like, I mean, you, you are what you eat, right? <laughs> yeah. no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, okay, go up right there. As of this episode here, I'm up by two, yeah. but I think you won. And we've got three more coming out. Oh, my God. I think I'm up. I think you're up. We'll yeah. see. We'll see by the time I, this I episode sure comes out. I won up. one of them. Yeah. I just can't. Uh, we just so. need to have, like, a whiteboard in here. <laughs> just... Yeah, honestly. Yeah, just a little, little eh. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, we're I, also, do that. I feel like she emailed it to us too. Let's see. Shout out Raina Webb. She created a spreadsheet. Um, Wait, really? Yeah. I've not seen the spreadsheet. Yeah, you have. Or we at least talked about it. Maybe. Uh, trying to think. Quick little aside here. Uh, Raina, did you? Uh, I thought it was just a YouTube comment. No, like she said, she was gonna. She had a spreadsheet and that she could email it to us. I just I couldn't remember if she actually did or not. So, Raina, if you could, yeah, email it to us. Uh, Are uh, you still keeping up with that? Is the no, question? You, you better be. He's on some weird shit today. I don't know. You better be. Forgive him. <laughs> I don't know what's going no, on. No, we here. appreciate it. If you're not, we, uh, we understand. But but let's yeah. jump in anyway. Yeah, let's play it up so we can see who's doing what. Feels wrong. Okay. What, I don't know, actually. You know what? Fuck it. I've been on a losing streak. Let's let's switch it up a little. Doing left-handed. I mean, whatever jerks you gherkin, I guess. I mean, I'm doing the stranger. Right? All right. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Damn. Left hand has betrayed me. Okay. Even strange danger gets fucked, dude. <laughs> All right, let's jump in. Uh, okay. So, again, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to TLDR this. Top assholes, one, three, four, five. Uh, we're going to see if they are actually an asshole or not. Let's begin. Am I the asshole for telling the cashier that wasn't the girl's credit card? Now, this was number one, yep. if I'm not mistaken. I believe so. Yep. So, this has 7.7 thousand comments on it. How many votes? 41.1 thousand. Let's see. Throw away because husband told me I was the asshole and want to know it before I get home and argue. <laughs> On phone format is bad. I was in a higher end department store today. Uh, rhymes with looming tales. All right. Did you just say the fucking play? Like it's Reddit. Like it's not. Yeah, it's exactly. Reddit. <laughs> like, okay. And happened to end up next to two teenage uh, teenage girls while shopping. One of the girls had picked out a pair of very expensive boots, and they were both fawning over them. Second girl I must have looked at price tag and asked Boots girl if she really is going to spend that much on Boots. Girl with Boots says something along the lines of, it's fine, I have my dad's credit card, I'm not paying. Which instantly caught my attention because that's not her card. I've told my son multiple times he's never allowed to use my card, so I'm interested to see how this uh, girl thinks she's going to get away with fraud, and ha uh, but had split up from the girls at this point because they had found something else. We end up at the same register, me behind, and her, I see her total hit well over four digits. The girl is about to swipe her card when I decide that I can't let her get away with something like this, and someone has to parent this kid if no one else will. I will. I tell the cashier that isn't her card, but her father's, and I'm not sure she has permission. Girl and her, a girl and friend turn and glare at me, giving me possibly the dirtiest look I've ever seen. I swear this girl was going to throw a tantrum right there. I don't think she was ever told no. Girl tells cashier her father gave her the card to shop with because it's the store's credit card and it gives him points. Now that I've been pointed out it wasn't hers, cashier tells her she can't use that card. Girl tries to show ID to prove they have the same last name. Yeah, that will help. And I tell her it's still fraud. Girl says it's not fraud because she has permission and tells me to mind my own business. I tell her that it is my business, that she's doing something illegal. Uh, she needs to pay with her own card or I call the cops. Girl is pissed now and people are glaring at me. She uses her own card and leaves crying. Cashier looks mad at me and, tell, and I tell my husband when I get home, only for him to agree I was in the wrong. So Reddit, am I the asshole? Am the I asshole. Am the I <laughs> asshole, yes. Wow. <sighs> I'm just going to go and say, yeah, you're being a fucking asshole. Because <laughs> like, you don't know. And she still paid for it. Yeah. If she had like not paid for it, then I'd have been like, all right, you might have gotten away with that one. But it's like, that's none of your fucking business. I want to say this. I want to say I'm not letting not the asshole, but I am mm. letting everyone sucks here. I mean, we don't know what the, what the dad's situation is. Th that's you know? my problem. I have 1,000. Yeah. That, that's exactly where my head is. Yeah. I like, so here's, here's the kicker is like, for if, okay, if you're if you if you're not used to credit cards in general, if the person whose name on that credit card is not present, yeah. then it, it is considered Ill, like illegal. There's no there's no law stating this. It's just 
terms of, of the store. Yeah. The store puts in their policy like, oh, if the card is not in your name, you're not allowed to use it. It's considered fraudulent otherwise. Yeah. The OP is the asshole for sure. Oh, definitely. Without a doubt. Yeah. I agree with you on that. But the girl, I mean, I would have just called my dad. I would have yeah. called my dad and been like, hey, would you mind coming to the store real quick? Like, if you know it's his card and this is the situation, like, I don't think OP should have gotten involved to begin with. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, parenting aside, it's not your kid to parent. That whole, like, well, if no one's going to parent her, I will. Uh, no. Yeah, no. You don't parent if, anybody else's If kids. you parent right. my, if yeah. you, I swore. Oh, Fuck, I've actually gone on this rant before. I'm mm -hmm. going to keep it short but sweet. If anyone ever tried to fucking parent my kids like that, oh, they're catching all the hell. Mm -hmm. I will I will not hold back. Fuck that shit. I will not parent someone else's kids because it's not my kid to parent. Yeah. But also do not try and parent my fucking kids. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's not your place to remotely even try and control the narrative of this, this whole story. No. You don't know... If her dad gave her that card, you all you ever heard was that she's saying, oh, I'm not paying my dad is. Okay, maybe he did give her the card. Yeah. The problem I have is the girl here, I feel like she just did. I, she's a teenager, so I'm trying to give her some benefit of the doubt here. But I feel like the way she handled it initially, I would have just called my dad. Because if some stranger, and, this, yeah. and if any teenagers watch our show, which I hope you don't, in fairness here, if... If you're a teenager and some stranger starts to, like going off on you like that, call your parents yeah. immediately. Mm -hmm. Like if you're not there with your parents or you know they're in a different store somewhere or what, call them immediately. Have them show up. Yeah. I, that's what I personally would have done. I'd have been like, hey, um, <laughs> stranger danger. And I would tell the cashier, I'll wait. Can you hold that stuff for me real quick? Yeah. Like that way it can be handled appropriately with the mm -hmm. parent. I, I can see why everyone said asshole. The more I'm thinking about it, I know the comments right now are raging at me like, oh, the, the fucker with the spoiler heads, fuck it up again. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Man. It's cut and dry. Sure, there's, there's potential for all that stuff, but we're never going to know that. Yeah, I have to. Yes, you're yeah. exactly right. I have to go off the context. We're never going to know that. I have to go off context. And it happens a lot. Dad will say, go shopping. And then they take the card. So it's usually not a big deal. Now, if it were a situation where she's spending money that they're not supposed to spend, that's not something that's going to just fly under the radar, especially if it's for the total that they mentioned. Like, they're going to notice that on the statement. So it's not like they're going to be like, hey, why, you know, like, oh, it's $4,000 or what, however much it was. Like, fuck it, whatever. You know, like, there will be a parenting situation there. Thank you. Yeah. You, you, have, you have brought me back because mm -hmm. I was over speculating. As he always does. I do not always. Oh, fuck you. You do that too. Mm. Asshole. Asshole. Easy. Like, I mean, again, yeah. OP, easily asshole. Yeah. As far as the whole holistic vote, you're right. We yeah. can't speculate. It could be whatever. I'm curious what these comments are going to say. You're the asshole. Did it ever occur to you that she was telling the truth and her dad had given her the, his credit card? As is your point. Mind your own business. Edit. Holy shit, this blew up to everyone saying that she could have taken the card without permission. You are right. But it's still none of OP's business and there's no way to know for sure. If the girl was an adult who said she was using her husband's card, OP would likely wouldn't have batted an eye. I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Uh, let's, uh, you're the asshole. Mind your own fucking business. The girl's dad probably makes money and she's spoiled and it absolutely isn't your job to parent her and embarrass her like that in a store. You also aren't a federal law enforcement officer investigating fraud. Just buy your, your shit and go home. Like that is one thing I will yeah. say it, I, not to derail, but like this morning I was listening to, uh, like a TikTok, and it was, Along the same lines of like someone interjecting their own will mm. into a situation they had no fucking part of, and, and you you think back, you're like, how? First of all, how does someone even think that? Like, how do you think you hold that much power as a human being to interject your will onto someone 
who you've never fucking met. Yeah. You have no idea who they are. You don't know their situation. Like, just fucking mind your own business. Mm-hmm. Like, I understand carrying on conversation. That's part of why I love living in Texas. You got a lot of nice people around here. Southern yeah. hospitality is real. You know, but no one's going to fucking be like, hey, 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 that's not their card. No, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know why? Because they don't want anybody fucking with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 just, I don't see where somebody's going to even start saying anything else based off of the context, you know? I Again, like if you put, mm-hmm. if you take speculation into account, I feel like she could have called her dad in that situation, but at the same time, like when it boils down, just stop, just stop, stop fucking dealing with someone else. Yeah. That's not your kid. And if you have kids, I feel fucking sorry for them. If that's how you act in public. It's funny to me that this whole thing was, you know, basically just her trying to have other people agree with her. Mm -hmm. And it turned into the number one most voted asshole comment Mm -hmm. (laughs) on of all time on this subreddit. You know what? I'm not saying that everyone who stops at Bloomingdale's is snooty as fuck, but that does kind (laughs) of align with the fact of like, there are some snooty fucks who work, I mean, not work there, also work there, but also just shop there in general. Yeah. Like not saying everyone does. They'll take. Moving on. (laughs) (laughs) Hit it with the eye roll. (laughs) Your turn. Am I the asshole for not saying anything about the underwear? Okay. My 20-year-old daughter and her fiancé are currently staying with us. I love my daughter, but she is very difficult and I can't stand her fiancé. Oh, no. (laughs) I gave them a deadline to move out because I can't take this anymore. Okay. We got into a massive fight the other day while my wife was out. I guess a pair of my wife's underwear got in with their laundry and she thought he was cheating. (gasps) Oh. I think the fact she immediately jumped to cheating shows how bad their relationship is. She was waving the underwear around, and I recognized them because they had a floral print, but I just let the, this ridiculous fight go on. My wife came home after about 30 minutes and said they were hers. My wife asked if I didn't realize they were hers, and I accidentally laughed. <laughs> my daughter burst into tears and won't talk to me. Her fiancé said we're fucked and left the house, but my wife thought it was funny. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I'm about to get cooked in the comments. <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. Not the asshole. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dude, okay. First and foremost, I want y'all to understand that that's funny as fuck. That's really fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I, I, I half agree with that comment of like, if you jump straight to cheating. Yeah. You know, like, w- like underwear is the least of your fucking worries at this point. But like, that's funny as shit. And mm-hmm. as a dad myself, when my boys get old enough, oh God. <laughs> <sighs> you just felt your cholesterol go. <laughs> oh my yeah. God, dude. Yeah. When my boys get old enough and they go out and they find a partner and they, you know, decide to get married one day, I hope they don't ever have to go through fights like this. Yeah. But like if a pair of my wife's draw showed up in their their, you know, laundry and I saw that go down, I'm gonna be like <laughs> So Here's where I think they would have been an asshole is if they planted it. <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely. You know, like if they planted it, yeah, you're an asshole. That at that point is manipulation. Just, yeah, yeah. But it just showed up. Yeah, like it, it just it, showed it, up. There's yep. nothing else going on. Like it just showed up in the laundry, and yep. that happens. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, hell, off, off. Well, same topic, off beaten path for a moment. Your wife's shirt showed up in our our laundry. Oh, yeah. She left it over here by accident one day when she came over <laughs> to watch football with us. I didn't know whose fucking shirt it was. I'm, mm. And I'm the one who does laundry. And I see, I'm like, when the fuck, who the <laughs> fuck is this? Do you immediately jump to cheating? No, no. <laughs> yeah. I, I, but I'm like, who the fuck who's yeah. in our laundry? <laughs> and then I realized, like, oh, wait. Two plus two equals dumbass. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's, that's your, your wife's shirt. Mm. Okay, cool. This? Not the asshole. You're not the asshole. It is not your job to save their fucking relationship. If they fought over a pair of fucking underwear, yeah. fuck them. Like, I know it's your daughter, but like, dude, you did nothing wrong. Yeah. You did. It, I feel like interjecting at that point. It's a very male take, by the way. <laughs> That's a very male take. That is actually a very male take. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, yeah. but here's, a, here's my point. Mm. 
would he have been the asshole had he interjected with the fight? Because we don't know. We're speculating. So yeah. we don't know if the fight would have continued or not. We don't know what their thoughts are. We don't know if they had a fight earlier that day, if they would have a fight again that night, whatever. Mm -hmm. So him interjecting in that moment to say, if anything, that would have been more embarrassing because think about this for a second. Like, she's swinging around her mama's drawers at this point going, oh, shit. Like, you know. Yeah. You can speculate and say anything. But just right off the topic, I, I, I wouldn't interject. If it got to the point where it was, like, too much, I'd be like, hey, y'all need to calm down. Like, what's up? But, I mean, it sounds like it was just a simple, like, yeah. verbal disagreement here yeah i mean yeah if i i don't want to interject into somebody else's fight ever <laughs> no like even if i can end it right then and there mm -mm. no i'm good I'm, yeah i'm staying the fuck out of that i learned a long time ago if two people are arguing within their relationship you stay the fuck out of that yep prime example i'll tell you all a funny story uh, and sam i know you remember this story because it happened here in texas first fucking time i got to come down to visit this man when he first moved down here i fly down Brought my Xbox with me. Where you were living with your mom at the time. We are in your bedroom. You're laid up watching the TV. You got the Xbox on, ready to play. I've got my Xbox on your desk. We're playing, right? I think we're playing like Halo or something. Mm. And I get a fucking phone call from a friend of mine who I considered a longtime friend of mine. Oh yeah. Mm. And she proceeds to use me as a scapegoat to say that to try to get me to prove to her husband that we were sleeping together. <clears throat> all because I was a friend and I had given her some advice mm. on how to handle her marriage. And at that point I went never again. Yeah. <laughs> I remember you even heard this call. Cause you were like, yeah. what the fuck is going on? Well, especially cause like I had, you know, moved here, didn't really have any friends, you know? So like I, I was in cloud nine, as far as peace and drama goes, like mm -hmm. <laughs> there's no drama, all peace. It was just me, myself and I, and then you come in <laughs> and I just hear that shit. I'm like, I don't miss that yeah, at all. At all. <laughs> yeah. But needless to say, <laughs> haven't talked to those folks in years. Yeah. So got, this first comment got me uh, laughing a bit. You might be the asshole, but I'm living for it. Edit. My personal verdict is you're the asshole, but I'd like to invoke Shipman versus Frick Boy, which states that in times of outlandish or otherwise inf infantile behavior, assholery may subject to scrutiny be permitted. <laughs> That's the best comment I think I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> But take my power award, not JPEG. <laughs> Swinging my underwear in solidarity. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Everyone sucks here, including me, because I laughed too. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Everyone but the mom. Mom took ownership of the floral panties right away. But I she mean, didn't confess to the cheating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is where I ugly stored it in my desk at work. Thank you. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yeah, not the asshole, dude. Yeah. If your first thought is cheating, not the other woman that lives in this house, you've got issues. Honestly, though, yeah. That, that's what yeah, I'm saying. That's, that's like, valid. yep. Anyway. He had no reason to interject <laughs> in that time. Like, there's if cheating is your first point of con uh, context, then like, just stop. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> not the asshole. Not the asshole. Uh, see, hey, yeah. it, look, look at that. Look at yeah. us. We're gonna be. We're gonna have little quality assurance badges. For Reddit, here in a little bit. Ew. Yep. <laughs> Find that on the merch store. Yep. Uh, <laughs> it's actually not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea That's at not all. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Put that on the list. Put it on the list. <laughs> Where's the list? Uh, it's not, I'm up, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Would I be the asshole? This is number four, by the way. Number four on the top all time assholes. Previous one was three. Three. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Would I be the asshole if I asked my pregnant wife to move out because she and her best friend decided to test my loyalty? Ooh. Okay. My wife is pregnant with our daughter. Initially, we were really happy and excited about it, but then she starts acting like a nut job. She gets angry and irritated for small things, insults me when she doesn't like the food I make, starts acting insecure and accusing me of losing attraction for her. <laughs> I started to see where this is going. For example, yep. she wanted to eat chicken sandwiches for dinner last week. Well, I made chicken sandwiches. So she eats all the sandwiches, leaves me nothing, and told me that they tasted like shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I wasn't pissed because she left me nothing, but if she didn't like them, why did she have to eat everything? When I asked her this, she told me that she was hungry. Okay, fine. She does this every time. Eats everything I make and calls it shit. I don't argue with her because I work for more than 80 hours a week, and I really want to have some peace when, I, when I'm home. 
So yesterday, a random girl starts uh, uh, flirting with me after the gym or at the gym and asked me if I wanted to meet up with her for some drinks. I rejected her and told her that I was married. And when I got home, my wife started to hug me and apologize. When I asked her what happened, she told me that her best friend suggested a test of, for my loyalty. So they asked a mutual friend to flirt with me and ask me out. And I passed. Yay. I'm really pissed. I'm done with her antics. Would I be asshole? And would I be the asshole if I asked her to move out? Uh, I don't need Yeah. Edit. I don't live in the USA. Please don't discuss uh, legalities based on the laws there. That's fair. Oh, man. That's. That's shitty. You should never have to do like a loyalty test like that. For one. <sighs> yeah, no, I agree with you 100% on that. My. You know, I, I get it. Yeah, I hate to say it. I get it. I'd say you would not be the asshole. And the reason I say that, and I know the comments are already lighting the torches to come after me, but everyone has a breaking point. Yeah. Mentally, everyone has a breaking point. If you, and I know, I know primarily a lot of women watch our show, and we greatly mm. appreciate that. And ladies, I want y'all to know this from the bottom of my heart. Like, as someone who also just went through a pregnancy, my wife, of course, giving birth to our lovely youngest baby boy, giving, you know, giving me two fantastic boys, Two very strong, healthy boys. Uh, you know, a lover to death. There was a time even when she was testing me. Yeah. And that happens. Did she ever push me to the point in which I wanted to walk away? No. Is there a point in which that can happen? Yes. Mm-hmm. And that happens for anyone. It doesn't matter if it's the mother or the father. That happens for both parties. Yeah. Based on the context we're given, which we have described so far, like we have to base this off of context. If I was getting treated like that, I mean, I, there's a point in time when you got to say, I'm, I can't like, yeah, my, it, my thing with it though is why is it immediately jump to move out instead of like therapy or I can see that having actual conversation. You yeah, know? I'm like, thinking more of the breaking point. I'm yeah. not thinking of the moving out. I'm thinking yeah. more of the breaking point. But yes, I see what yeah, you're yeah. saying. You need to try to prevent the breaking point. You know, I agree. Yeah. yeah. So, and that just starts with a conversation because, like, he even self described said, "I didn't argue or say anything about it because I I work a lot and I just wanted it to be have a peaceful time." Yeah. So, like, I i get it like he's totally within his right to feel uncomfortable and not like it at all and be at a breaking point but maybe instead of hey leave maybe we should do therapy or something like that that makes me wonder if he had like that makes me wonder if therapy had been uh requested before but also can't speculate yeah yeah that's the thing you know we're we're going from zero to 100 Real quick. <laughs> yeah. You know, so. I just, I, I'm going to say everyone sucks. I would say everyone sucks, yeah. Because uh, wife's definitely being shitty. I understand hormones are crazy, but. Yeah. You don't do that. Especially also, the, fuck the friend. Fuck the friend. Yeah, the friend is the biggest asshole here. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm glad yeah. we're on the same page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, just don't do that. That's not even cool. Imagine if you and I did that. We'd be fucking crucified. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> but. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I, I would say everyone sucks here, especially the friend. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can say everyone sucks. Yeah. I, I think that, you know, no party in this is of, is absolved yeah. of anything here. Like, although thankfully it's a, would I be and not, am I the asshole for asking my wife to yeah. move out? You well, know? So this like, is also five years ago. So I'm yeah. curious if there's a follow up. Yeah. That'd be very interesting. Yeah, uh, might I suggest couple therapy first? What yeah. you, yeah, what you would point out. What did, uh, what did she, what she did rather was clearly a, an a move. Though I don't think you'd be in the right to have her move out while pregnant. I mean, chewing on that one for a second. Um, 
Yeah, no, I agree. Like, I don't think I'm going to sound like an asshole when I say this. I know <laughs> I am. I don't think the the pregnant part needs to be factored in because women who are pregnant, unless the doctors clearly specifically stated like, hey, you are a high risk. We can't assume that pregnant women are, are you know, f- fragile creatures. You know, yeah. pregnant women are some of the toughest women I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the shit they have to go through. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, I do think it it tanks one's mentals as well as, you know, the, the you know, figuring out the whole living situation and whatnot. I, I agree with the couple therapy. Um, yeah. But that also, like, I think back, uh, what was that, the story you read? It was, was it on Crazy X's? I think it was. I think it was on Crazy X's. The story we read of the partner's. Who got pregnant and broke up and dude like dude's friends threw a uh, shower for him. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think Mm -hmm. of something like that where it's like, okay, well, it's not unheard of. Yeah. You know, that's just not unheard of. It does it suck? Absolutely. But it's not unheard of. I think at some point you have to recognize there is a breaking point. You know, like like it's it's not I, I don't like that it's common. I think every kid should be able to grow up with both parents. That I could I could go into the thousand reasons why I would say that because yeah. of my own personal you know situations, mm-hmm. but at the end of the day, like kids should absolutely have both parents. However, we both know kids living in a toxic household where the parents hate each other or situations like that, it's a tough situation. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. this is already alluding to the fact that these two have a very toxic relationship, just yeah. based on the context we've been given. If that's how she really treats him, and he's and, and that's how he actually is, like he's working eighty hours and he's trying to put in that the, the wrench time in the household, if you will. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. I do agree, couples therapy works. However, at some point, if that doesn't work and nothing else is working, you do hit that breaking point. I think logically, and and I know that the Reddit comments of YouTube are going to be like, ah, fucking no, like, but seriously, like, I think that. Without a doubt, at some point that breaking point hits, and you have to know when that breaking point is, and be able to make that judgment call. Yeah, so yeah, that's one hundred percent. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, here's a not the asshole. Uh, the eating everything and complaining sounds like pregnant mood swings, and you would be the asshole for holding it against her. The loyalty test—that's a shitty thing to do. Throwing her out still seems a bit much, especially since she is pregnant. She probably has some self-esteem issues right now. She has a shitty best friend, but maybe you should talk to her and tell her that this stuff is not okay. Yeah, I mean. Number one is having a, a conversation. Bless uh, you. Excuse me. That's neat. It's neat. That's neat. But no, I, I even think yeah. like, uh, and and I don't want to like harp on this too long because this is this is a rough situation. But like, you know, the 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 image issues. Like my wife went through those too, mm-hmm. and I had to very much like vehemently tell her like, I still find you hot. Like I need you to understand. Like. And and ladies, I would love to know in the comments for anybody who has self image issues, especially if you have a, a partner. Like, tell me how much your partner's reflection on you like helps. Like, like when they see you and they tell you that they think you're hot, and you know they mean it. Like, how does it make you feel? Because I've had to tell my wife multiple times and remind her, like, hey, you might be you know getting a belly, but I, I mean, I would still lay it down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I don't. And. Cause I I find my wife hot like I do, yeah. and I think that she needs to be told that from time to time. Hell, earlier I had to remind her that too, and it happens. Like the image issues are definitely a thing for sure, but that does not give someone the right to fucking loyalty test someone like that. Yeah, at all. Yeah, that's shitty. Uh, there was a response, uh, basically just saying I'm not talking about divorce, just like separation for a little bit. Some time apart might be helpful. Yeah. That is true, and honestly, if it's a time apart, take a vacation. Yeah, I mean, I I don't think we need to jump straight to that though. I think y'all need to talk it out. I first, agree. You know? No, I'm <laughs> like, saying yeah, I'm if saying if it comes if that, to it, it can help. Yeah. But don't just jump straight to paying that. paying two rent know? payments would suck dick. Paying for yeah. a week in Cancun, awesome. Yeah, <laughs> but that's also at the same time like all right, a month rent and then a week in Cancun. You know. <laughs> <laughs> 500,000 validation seeking posts, mods, sleep. Few people being dicks on a subreddit dedicated to finding out if you're an asshole, mods. Real shit. <laughs> Damn. Wait, hold on. A mod actually responded. Yeah. 500,000 validation seeking posts, users, literally anything but reporting those posts. Also, users, why aren't these validation posts removed early? Damn. Get them, mods. Now, I think I, th- I think I agree with you here. I think everyone sucks. 
Um, I, I, I think that, wait, this one's just like a genuine conversation. It's somebody asking for additional info, like how far along she is. Um, and OP responded 25th week. Now she hasn't, uh, she wasn't insecure before pregnancy, but was always finicky about food. She mostly prefers home cooked meals. It just got a little worse. And then basically they're just saying, I think the situation's a little too complicated for a cut and dried. Yeah. Yes or no. Yeah. So that but, makes which, sense. A hundred percent. I think we can move on. I think yep. we both agree. Everyone sucks here. Yep. I think the friend's the worst out of all this. Mm-hmm. And, um, <clears throat> you know, just don't fucking test someone's loyalty. Yeah. All right. Last but not least is a, a reader. Um, uh, not too bad. Am I the asshole for telling my stepdaughter to stop using period products in the bathroom she shares with my teenage sons? Uh, don't read the update. Okay. Um... I have been living with my new wife and stepdaughter for about six months now. She's 19, almost 20, and I have three sons, aged 18, 16, and 15. She's a really good kid, and she's a good influence on my sons. I really enjoy having her around. My wife and her daughter moved into my house and sold theirs. My stepdaughter's father isn't present in her life, nor is my son's mother. All four children share a a bathroom. Excuse me. (laughs) Um, That would have been bad. Yeah. My sons have never lived for a long period of time with a woman, nor have any of them had long-term girlfriends. They had a short visit. Uh, they had short visitation periods when they were younger, but never longer than an hour. So living with two women has been unusual for them. My eldest son, 18, came to me last week and told me that his stepsister disposes of her used sanitary products in the trash that can they share, but doesn't use toilet roll or sandwich bags to disguise what they are, and it makes him feel uncomfortable. And I think it's, uh, I think it's reasonable. My sons are teenage boys and don't want to see their stepsister's period products on full display. A few nights ago, I went into the kitchen to grab a snack, and she was there doing some work for her university. My wife had mentioned that she knew she was on her period, so I took it as an opportunity to have a word with her. I told her my sons were uncomfortable and asked her if she wouldn't mind putting her used products in diaper bags or flushing them down the toilet. She laughed and told me it was rich coming from a man who sheds like a gorilla (laughs) (laughs) and has produced three skid-marking sons, which I thought was just an unnecessary attack. I've been nothing but nice to the girl, and it's hardly a comparison. My sons shouldn't be subjected to her unhygienic products if it makes them uncomfortable. She went on to lecture me about how tampons can't be flushed and that it's bad for the environment if she uses diaper bags for every one, which I think is just an excuse. I called her a scruff and told her that this was my house and that way that what I say goes. Oh, God. I later asked my wife if she could have a word with her, and she told me I was being ridiculous and that her daughter has had her period for 10 years and knows what she's doing. When I told her it was making my sons uncomfortable, she said my sons needed to get a grip and turned over and went to sleep. This is a genuine issue to me, and she didn't care enough to have a discussion about it. I asked my stepdaughter again in the morning, and she did the same as her mother, completely dismissed it. Both of them have told me to stop being so silly, but I don't see how I'm being unreasonable when it makes my sons uncomfortable. Am I the asshole? Holy shit. That's. That, yeah, kind of an asshole there, bud. Um, like, it doesn't bother me at all. No. Seeing that shit. No. Like, I know it's totally natural part, something they have to deal with. I wouldn't want to have to fucking deal with it. Could you imagine bleeding out of your dick? No. Mm-mm. I'd. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even want to think about it. My balls hurt thinking about that. Honestly, I'll be honest yeah. with you. Like, and so, yeah, honestly, that, I mean, and I don't know, maybe, I mean, I was an only child until after my parents got divorced, I got three stepsisters. And so that was a fucking awakening, by the way. <laughs> and, but so that, and then, you know, living with my wife now for a long time and everything, like it's part of life, man. Like, that's, that shit happens. And if they're uncomfortable with it, they just have to fucking get over it. Because that's not. I, I don't see that. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to say he's an asshole. Yeah. But he wasn't an asshole yeah. until it turned into an argument. Well, I've, yeah. Because, I, and, and I'll explain. Yeah. Teenage boys are not going to understand period products. Yeah. We, we've had stories before, countless stories before, where we have, like, witnessed teenage boys 
in their prime, mm. and all they're thinking is, what happened? Rip. They made me check mine. <laughs> That's good. Oh, Lord. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button while you're here and join the lousy listeners. And also, click the join button. For $2.99 a month, you can become a lousy member where you can get some awesome perks, cool emotes, and interact with Sam and I. Also, click the link to join our Discord and have fun with all the other lousy listeners. Let's get back to the video. We're back. And we're back. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I don't know why. We keep, I'm noticing it's more your phone. It's only my phone. Yeah. It's, it's never happened to yours. Yeah. And that, that's two different phones, too. Because I had the 14 Pro Max, now True. I have 15 Pro Max. So I don't know what it is. That's just randomly stopping a recording. I have to take a look. Whatever. Either uh, way. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Uh, wasn't an asshole until it turned into an argument. Yeah. yeah. So teenage, we've talked about this before. Teenage boys, especially in their prime, you know, teenage years, they don't, they, they don't know anything. They're not thinking about that stuff. And I think that from a fatherly perspective, I want to give him a little bit of grace in saying that, like, as someone who hasn't really lived with women in that long, mm -hmm. I could see where he'd be like, okay, you know, yeah, it, it might be awkward for them. I like that he wanted to approach her and talk about it. Yeah. He didn't go in and was like, no, you don't do this in my house. No, he started with, hey, I just want, you know, they feel uncomfortable by it. Wouldn't have chosen the time of her being on her period to talk about that. Yeah, that's a bad call there, bud. <laughs> uh, and because she's just going to, I mean, like, if she's not feeling well, if mm. she's in a hormonal swing at all, this isn't going to go well. Yeah. And that's just being respectful. Like, just wait until afterwards. Yeah. Now, I will say there was a bit of an asshole moment on her part. For now, insulting him, <laughs> shit <laughs> you know? like a gorilla. Yeah, let's not exactly healthy conversation there. I can go. I can yeah. lean. Everyone sucks here, but there yeah. isn't enough context because, like, uh, understanding the situation based yeah. on what's been provided, he's definitely more of an asshole than she was. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm not even going to consider the wife an asshole here because the wife just got caught in like you know yeah. the, the crossfire. However, I think the update will help us a little bit more here. Ah, okay. Read the update. Update. Not even two hours after I posted this, my wife and stepdaughter gathered my sons and I gave and and, and I and gave us a full intensive periods for pricks course. <laughs> PowerPoint and all. It was a hoot. They made an interactive quiz and everything. My sons and I learned a lot and apologized to my stepdaughter. Thank you for your input. And because of Happy that ending. Yeah, Yay. because of that, yeah. I'm gonna say not the asshole. I'm gonna say yeah. everyone sucks. For a brief moment. Everyone sucks for a brief moment. And that's it. Yeah. If it weren't for the update, without that update, without that update, yeah. you're an asshole. On the flip side, though, it shouldn't have to be the responsibility of them to, to create a PowerPoint. I, well, I think that's you on know. their own accord. I know, but what I'm saying is, like, there shouldn't have to be that kind of conversation. Like, you know... There should be education, for sure. Sure. But he shouldn't be like, my son's feeling icky about your period stuff. So, you know, like, I, I'm just thinking, like, that shouldn't have ever been a conversation from the beginning, personally. Or I, I don't I'm think, I, I'm sorry, what? yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not articulating my thoughts very well here. I don't think it had to come to that necessarily okay i'm glad that it did because it was a good healthy moment right yeah but that wouldn't have happened if any of this didn't happen right okay so, so in a perfect world okay oh see now you're starting to speculate i'm not speculating well, I mean, I, I mean, I am, but so not. How, but so I am speculating, but not in the in the judgment of it all. I'm wait, just okay, speculating okay, for, the, so, for the sake of content. So right? let, let me let me <laughs> so. let me let me say this then. Yeah. What you just said was, if he hadn't said, "My sons think it's icky," mm. none of that would happen. 
we wouldn't have a story to read if otherwise. True. Because Perfect World, yeah. he'd have been like, hey, would you mind explaining to the kids mm-hmm. about how periods work? Because I'm a dude, and I don't understand vaginas. No, I wouldn't see it, say it's even that. What but I, but it, what it, I'm it, saying is, I don't think he was in the wrong for explaining to them that mm-hmm. the sons felt, it, felt uncomfortable because they didn't understand. Yeah. I think that creates a dialogue mm-hmm. for the mom and uh, stepdaughter to now explain to them. Yeah. I think the timing was poor. Yeah. I think the outcome was great. Mm-hmm. And looking at the PowerPoint side of things, I that's I fun. feel like that's, that I feel like that's kind of like oversight. Like Yeah. Like th- just because they went through the PowerPoint side of things, like that's on them, cool. That's what they want to do. Awesome. Yeah. I don't I, he was not an asshole until he started like, this is my house. You could do it my way. I agree. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying that he was being an asshole. I'm just talking. It shouldn't be on them to have to teach the sons how periods work. Overall. So who teaches them? Fucking school. <laughs> you know? Uh, I'll agree to disagree. I mean, yeah, but like, I'm sure it's coming from somebody that's comfortable, you know, right? It's family kind of. Um, but I just, I don't think it has to necessarily get to that point or be like, hey, let's talk about my reproductive system real quick. You know, well, I'm, that doesn't happen the other way around. Well, yeah, but we're not like, but that's my point is it doesn't have to happen the other way around. So like the fact that they had to have that conversation, you should learn about that in school. And they're all well old enough to learn about that by this point, you know? We all took health class in middle school. Yeah, but like I, 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 I'm trying to understand where you're coming at from. Like, I'm just saying, like, basically the the responsibility for them having to learn that it's not just some gross icky thing and that it's a re- reproductive thing. Sure. That they just have to fucking deal with. Yeah. That shouldn't be on their shoulders. That should be for them to learn through. Our education system, personally. I think everybody needs to learn that. And if you're in a situation where you don't have sisters or moms or wives or whatever, how else are you going to learn that? That's speculation. I know. (laughs) That's not for the sake of the argument of asshole or not asshole. I'm just talking in general. I am speaking on a much broader okay. thing. I thought you were speaking to the story no. still. Uh-uh. Okay. I'm just talking in general. Oh, in I society. agree then. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were talking about this. I'm like, why are you? That's why I said at the why very are you beginning. So angry like, about I was like, this? going beyond that. Like, yes. No, yeah. I agree. The school could definitely okay. teach that. Yes. I think that, that like health mm. education, sex education is a great way to be able to teach that thing. Yeah. Understanding a woman's body from a male mm-hmm. perspective. Absolutely. And vice versa. And vice yeah. versa. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I get it. 100%. Yes. However, mm. To bring it back to the story, (laughs) I think that this ended very well, and while it's not their responsibility to do that, Mm -hmm. it is still a very nice thing for them to do that, Yes, because they are recognizing, hey, Mm. we are bringing our lives together. These boys have never, ever been in a situation like this. Yeah, She has never been in a situation like this. Let's come together. And it sounds like it ended very well. And it did, yes. God, you went... (laughs) <laughs> I lost yeah. dog. The train started rolling. And I was I, like, I thought I had made it clear enough that I was not speaking about the article anymore or about the, the post. I thought I was just speaking. Yeah, no, I, I seriously enough. thought you were so, that's why I was like, yeah. you are very much on a tangent with this. Okay. You were passionate about this. No, I, I was just, I was more just frustrated that you weren't coming like that. You weren't seeing that. I wasn't coming that you, Hey, hey. <laughs> that's later. Uh, subscribe to the only fans. Uh, uh, ooh. Oh, the membership, the lousy comers. <laughs> yeah. <Hey>, anyways, <laughs> Uh, the, yeah, no, the, I agree. Um, so, okay. Comes. So what is our final consensus here? Uh, he was being an asshole when it turned into that. He did not start off being an asshole. So for the sake of it, I will say asshole, even including the update. Cause that's not the whole, my house, my rules, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't work in that scenario. I'm going to disagree with you. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to say everyone sucks mm-hmm. only because. I will lean. Everyone sucks. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 it wasn't. An, he wasn't an asshole yeah. until he became an asshole. Yeah, but also her immediate like response. Yeah, definitely didn't help. No, mm-mm. and not, then not like great. the wife just brushing him off when he was like, "Hey, this is actually kind of like important to me here," you know, yeah. like. Um, 
So just looking at some of the comments here real quick. Uh, so you're the asshole. Sorry, but what? I'm a guy and realize this is ridiculous. You need to help yourself and your sons become better men and accept that it's a natural process. Are you uncomfortable with your wife's use of the same? I assume not so. Uh, I assume not. So teach your sons to be better. My first gold. <laughs> Hijacking the top comments since I doubt OP will edit to add uh, this in, which he did later. He said in his replies that she wraps the pads, tampons, and in the packaging before throwing them away, so the sons can't even see the blood. And the garbage bin has a lid. This is beyond ridiculous. I'm not surprised the stepdaughter snapped. I kind of get that now. <laughs> yeah. Like I mean, she is at least covering it. You know. Yeah, I I think that the, the so just just thinking from the hygienic side of things, like. Yeah. And and I, this isn't even a male take. This is just from a household take. Um, you like from the lady's perspective, I get like if she were leaving her pads out, yeah, like just use pads out. That would be that. I'm gonna be like, yeah. hey, that's not hygienic at all mm. because that's like if I were just like, hey, hey, let me bleed. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's the same concept. Like. That's just not healthy. That's not hygienic. No. But if she's wrapping them up to where you can't even see anything and throwing them in the trash can, okay. Yeah, at With that point, you just, yeah. Like, yeah, that's, that's just ridiculous. Um, Wait, hold on. No, go back. Go back. Uh, hold on. Uh, you're the asshole. I, I, I see the toothbrush. But hang on, I got to read this. You're the asshole. How about you talk with your sons about periods instead of trying to shame a woman for bleeding? I wouldn't say he was trying to shame her. There was no shame involved. It was just him saying, like, hey... He started out with a general, like, yeah. this is where I'm at kind of situation, and it turned into them fighting. So I wouldn't even say it was shaming, but wish there was a disclaimer or a tag for posts you don't need to read it all the way through. Uh, the title of this was post is clearly meant to bring us as much shame to a biological function as possible. The post itself, however, makes it uncomfortable to imagine someone else, someone so dense, freely walking the earth without supervision. Eh, titles like these are 50-50. Why won't this disgusting creature walk to the dump so there's no sign of her filth in my house? <laughs> And I provided her with a trash can, but she's saying I'm shaming her when I ask her to stop leaving used tampons on top of my son's toothbrush. <laughs> How do I unread the toothbrush? That's, bit? that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, okay. Oh, that's yeah. That's taken a little far. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you're the asshole dude instead of saying that the woman that a woman can't help ha having a period and they should be more understanding of her throwing away sanitary products in a place she lives she's lived in without you for years you double down on the sexism how dare you talk to a grown woman like that yeah, I, okay this is where the reddit comments start going off on a tangent that isn't needed if you yeah. read that let's go back to the story real quick scroll back up I would, okay let's see my eldest son 18 came to me last week and told me that his sepsis are disposed of used sanitary products in a trash can they shared but doesn't use toilet roll or sandwich bags to disguise what they are and it makes him uncomfortable which is i think is reasonable okay cool he he, he thinks that it's reasonable for them to be uncomfortable so yeah. he decides okay i'm going to talk to her a few nights ago i went to the kitchen to grab a snack and she was there doing some work for a university my wife had mentioned that she knew she was on her period so i took it as an opportunity to have a word with her i told her my sons were uncomfortable and asked her if she'd mind putting them putting her used products in diaper bags or flushing them down the toilet so he didn't go in demanding he's just going in with uh, with an understanding of like hey is this doable like is this something that we could do she then hit him with uh, that's rich coming from a man who sheds like a gorilla. So she has now immediately gone back at him. Yeah. And then this devolved into a fight where they're just mudslinging each other. And then he ended with, it's my house, my rules get fucked. Basically like no one was shaming anyone. There's no sexism here. He's just a dad who has lived in a household with boys. I agree hmm. with you on the part that schools need to invest in making sure that, that, that kids understand this stuff. I agree fully. Yeah. But from this perspective, you, you have to look at it truly from the outside of going, okay, it's a house full of dudes who have never had to deal with this before. Mm. And they don't understand. Yeah, A healthy family is going to just simply explain it, which they did. And that's why I'm glad it, it ended the way it did. Mm. But you can't sit there and immediately say, oh, you're being sexist. No. Yeah, it's not sexism. He just went and talked yeah. to her about it. Is it sexist if I go to a woman and go, hey, I know you're on your period. Is that sexist? Uh, I don't know. No. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's him. It, yeah. It's me going, hey, I know you're on your period. Yeah. I'd like to have a conversation with you about this. Cool. 
Again, I want to go back to my previous statement. I don't think he should have chose that time to do that. That's a horrible time of opportunity to do it because it's not going to end well. Yeah. But it's not sexist. Yeah, it's not sexist. At all. Like, hey, I know your period products are around the house. It's, it, I mean, really, the, the only thing I can think of that would be similar to that is like, if mom and dad were shacking up and wearing condoms and she was like, hey, could you mind like throwing your condoms away where we can't see them? Like, you know? Yeah. Same kind of concept. Only difference is, I mean, still a hygienic product, but you know, like, I just, I like, I, I hate when those comments immediately jump to that because you know, you know, they're coming, but the Reddit commenters sometimes are just like, yeah. so far off the beaten path. They're just like pounding their chest of, I read this much of this story and, and I'm going to give you my point that, oh, you're a sexist piece of shit. Yeah. That, that's definitely taken it way too far. Yeah. So they just didn't know. Yeah. Just straight up. I'm, I'm staying with everyone sucks. I, I will say asshole, but leaning everyone sucks. Cause there you go. like it's, it definitely leans that everyone sucks for sure. But yeah. Yep. But uh, let us know what you think in mm-hmm. the comments. Um, th- th- this was good. I like this. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the Reddit QA. Mm-hmm. En- enjoying that. So let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, of course, if any of you, have, I'm sure someone's read these stories before, especially the, being that they're in the top five. You know, uh, let us know if we are off the beaten path on our own here or if you agree with us. Uh, and uh, I think we make know, logical points. I think so. <laughs> you know. Um, and if part. you're part of the lousy listeners, hmm. drop your emotes. Let yep. us know what you think. So let us know. Absolutely. But uh, I think it's time for us to get out of here. So there's yep. a button behind me. Click it. Click it. Uh, subscribe to the channel as always. And we didn't say that at the beginning of the episode. I realized that just now. Oops. Whoops. Subscribe. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, click the video behind me too. Yep. Bye. Bye. <laughs>